The Raptors look to take charge at the Air Canada Center here in downtown Toronto. Last game for the Nets, they picked up a W against the Bucks, And they barely squeaked by with that one, edging out by just one point. And if you look at their numbers in that game, what jumps out most is the balance offensively. They really spread the wealth. And they were on fire in all areas. That was a very satisfying road win. So the Nets starting five. Jaron Williams and Joe Johnson at the one and two. Inside is Plumley and Lopez. And it's Bogdanovich in at the small forward. Johnson with it. Guarded now by Patrick Patterson. Shot clock at six. Here's Williams. A beautiful reverse layup. Williams has got the first points on the scoreboard for the Nets. Looked like he may have been showboating a little bit at the end of that one. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Dwayne Casey. For them to be successful, Kevin, he said they have to act like, and I quote, a swarm of angry bees every time the ball gets in the post. If they don't collapse on their post threats, he knows they're in for a long game. Guys? And as always, Doris, thank you. Lopez, no luck. And here are the Raptors now, fresh from a win against the Nuggets. That yeah, didn't seem to be much of a challenge for them uh, in that game. It seemed like uh, they scored at will. Not much defense that they were facing. Yep, they had the defense on its heels early the entire game, and actually nearly the entire game. And no matter what unit was out there, looked like a mismatch to me. Well, nice way there to get your first basket of the game. Here's the kid. He's guarded by Williams. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Patterson's got his first points of the night. For Brooklyn, they've gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Outside, Williams. Johnson outside. Puts up a 3. That is good. Bogdanovich has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. The Raptors have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. The shot's good from the kid. They're off and running. Good start here. They've knocked down four of their first five. And so it's Brooklyn with it. They trail by three. Outside Williams. He kicks to Johnson. Shot clock at six. Back to Williams from past the arc, and they will call over the back on the play. Well, you like it when a guy goes hard to the boards, but you have to be smart. He went over, right over his back on that one. Not, not a good play. I think he was just over anxious that time. Plumwood is just to Lopez. Johnson outside. He's looking for Williams and finds him. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Six points for Darren Williams. The Raptors have gone four of five from the field so far. Here's the kid. No good with the triple. Brooklyn's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Dishes to Williams. Johnson the screen. Joe Johnson on the wing. From 18 feet away. Toronto grabs the miss. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Here's the kid. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. So far in the game for the kid, he's already up to eight points. And he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. Well, the defenders have that in the back of their minds now, too. So they're going to close out on him quicker. That should allow him to use the drive if he wants. There's not a lot you can say that hasn't been said before about his skill at the charity strike. And Williams, here we go. Here's Lopez. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Here's the kid coming off a solid outing against him, and he gets it to go. The kid's got 13. You know, he's showing some kind of a killer instinct this quarter, trying to stretch this lead out. Williams kicks to Johnson. Lopez sets a screen for Johnson. It's up a three. Williams can't hit. Raptors leading by four. And it's sent back by Lopez. 
Boss against Johnson. Outside Williams. Over to the wing. Here's Lopez. That one off the back iron and out. The Raptors have gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. Ross passes to the kid. Feeds to Ross. Fires the three. And again, Toronto with the triple. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the three-point line. That's four of the last five. You gotta run those guys off the line. I agree, and the defense is practically giving them those shots, though. And it's a completely new group for Toronto. And a new group in for the Nets. Jefferson's checked in for Lopez. Anderson comes in for Bogdanovich. Jared Jack. Here's Teague. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. So for Brooklyn now, Marcus Teague out there with Darren Williams. Then it's Brooke Lopez. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three spot. Boy, that was impressive. Major height disadvantage, but he still got the shot up over his man. Well, he's got the poise to handle any matchup, and he's not easily intimidated. You can see that there. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Looking now at some numbers for Darren Williams. What a year he had last season. He put up about 17 points a game, eight assists, and three rebounds. And he's a threat to go off in any game with the way he can score. Yeah, you got to have players like him who can occasionally just take over the game with their scoring. Joe Johnson, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Both free throws good from the kid. Nets trail by four. Williams dishes to Lopez. Snatched away. Last break. Here come the Raptors. I am set for oh. Watch out. No. Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in, aren't they? Have build up a lead, and here we go, folks. It's showtime. And why not? I mean, the more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. Johnson kicks to Williams. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got three assists tonight. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. No, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. Well, after knocking down three three-pointers last quarter, he's starting to lose the range a little bit. Williams kicks to Bogdanovich. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Boy, they're really battling, guys. Not sitting back, being aggressive, attacking when they have the chance. I like that. Yeah, and that kind of approach is going to serve them well. It's gotten them to the line more than a few times this quarter. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Raptors. Well, I'll tell you what. They must have had a good shoot around because they've been fantastic from long range so far, fellas. And the other area that's really been strong for them tonight is their ability to get to the free throw line, finding easy points. Williams comes with a double team. Passes it to DeRozan. Trying to find Valanciunas. Gets it to him. That one goes. Counter. And the Raptors lead by four. You know, as soon as he recognized the height mismatch, he immediately pulled up for the jumper. As he should. That's a good decision. When he gets a clean look, he's got to take it. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Take a look at what Williams has done. He's got eight points. And the one steal. For Brooklyn, they have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. And this club shot 77% uh, as a team last year. Good. Not spectacular, but solid. Raptors leading by three. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Shots good from the kid. What a job he's doing here. I mean, his second quarter has been even better than his first. And that was pretty good. Williams kicks to Lopez. Back to Williams. Lopez sets a screen for Williams. On the wing, Williams. Six to shoot. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. 
Williams has got 11 points. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Here's the kid. The shot is off. Good D by Lopez. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. Williams passes to Lopez. Jefferson on top. Right side, Williams. From the baseline, Williams with another miss. Toronto leading by three. There's the pick. It's DeRozan with the drive. He used that pick just right. DeRozan's got his first two points of the night. And that's why teams emphasize the use of screens and picks, just to get you some open looks like that one. Plumlee, he's checked in for Brooke Lopez. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Yes, Kevin, Dwayne Casey was just going over the plan with his team. He made no mistake that their plan was to run their offense through Williams. Coach has a lot of faith in him offensively and let his players know it, insisting that he be at the forefront of what they do at that end of the court from here on out. Another part of what he said to them centered on his desire to see them shooting the ball every opportunity that presents itself. He said, fire away, guys. You've got the green light. Guys, they're clearly hoping those changes have an effect even before this game makes it to halftime. Kevin? Thanks, Doris. They get a hand on it. Now the Raptors moving it up. The shot's good from the kid. The kid's got eight points in the quarter. And Clark, we saw a very animated huddle that last break, and I'm sure the coach wanted something specific from his team. Well, Kevin, this is certainly a key moment for the squad, and he's looking for players to lock into the new game plan and carry it out the rest of the way. That's what he's trying to get across. Here's Williams. Misses off the right iron. Raptors leading by seven. Here's the kid. Open jump shot off the mark. This quarter has not been his best. The defense may be starting to affect him a little bit. Now Plumlee. He's coming off a 16-point game against Milwaukee. And a phenomenal showing on the boards. His rebounding was a huge factor. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's the kid. 21 points in the game. For three. Throws and dishes to Ross. Pass to the kid. Fires the three. There's the bucket. Good. The kid's got 24 points. And after that last game, Clark, I'm not surprised to see him so hot. He's got it rolling right now. And that does it for the first half of play. Raptors lead by eight. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the side. Doris? Kevin, we have Brooke Lopez with us. What's the attitude you have as a team right now? Oh, I'm so excited, you know? And now the third quarter about to get going. A fantastic game from the kid in this one. Well, when he gets to the rim, you know he's going to score. That's just the way it is. And he's been getting there a lot so far today. And, Steve, he's been operating at extremely close range. The D has to do a much better job of protecting the basket the rest of the way. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. So for Toronto right now, Patterson is the four with Galanchunas in the middle. DeRozan and Ross, they're the two and three. And it's the kid in at the one spot. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. Second shot opportunity, and that's two points on the layup. Galanchunas has got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Raptors. Nets trail by 10. Plumley sets the pick for Johnson. They set the pick. On the wing, Williams. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Excellent D there from the kid. Pass to Ross. Out left to the wing. Here's the kid. He's guarded by Williams. 
Five on the clock. Toronto needs to get off a shot. Cross. That's good. And it's a 12-point Raptor lead. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Guys, we know where the ball needs to go. we got to get the ball to our best player. They don't have a guy on their team that can stop him, and he can create. Amir Johnson's checked in for the Raptors. The Nets also changing it up. Allen Anderson's checked in for Bogdanovich. And Jared Jack has subbed in for Darren Williams. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Had some words for his team. Offensively, he'd like to see them get the ball into the post as often as possible. That's where he thinks their biggest advantage lies. The other thing he stressed was the need to be disciplined on offense. He asked for good ball movement and good shot selection. Well, they need to make something happen before the start of the fourth quarter, and maybe those changes will do the trick, Kevin. And thank you, Doris. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Here's the kid. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got four rebounds now tonight. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. And the kid picks up the foul. That'll be his second. That's it? And you know this, man. Bogdanovich has checked in. Brooklyn's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Outside Teague from past the arc. And that's good from Jack on the assist by Teague. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. The kid is checked in for basket. And in front of you now is a list of the players with the highest shooting percentage last season. Fifth is Mason Plump. You know, nobody said this guy couldn't miss last season. And because he was such a good percentage shooter, one of the best in the league, his teammates always were looking for him. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. To the wing right side. Jack for three. They grab their own miss. Right side, Jack. The dish to Anderson. This one for three. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Nagate has got four rebounds in this game. Let's it go from the wing. The shot's good from the kid. The kid's got 26. Well, it's kind of been the story here today, hasn't it, Clark? Brooklyn's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. T kicks to Anderson. Plumley the pass to T. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Anderson dishes to T. Outside Jack. Six to shoot. Here's Bogdanovich. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Toronto leading by 22. Here's the kid. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. The kids got four this quarter. He presents a defender with a serious challenge, always. Teague, the pass to Bogdanovich. The three-pointer, no good. Here's the kid. Oh, the buzzer beater, amazing! How about the killer instinct on display there? Wow, fantastic. He didn't even flinch, just buried it like it was any other shot. Unbelievable. And as we conclude the third... In a moment now to check out our State Farm assist of the game and what a pass it was by a talented point guard. Well, this is what he does. So for Brooklyn now, they've got Garrett Temple. He's out there with Sergei Karasov. Jefferson is out there with Hardaway. And it's McKnight in at the four slot. Back to Hardaway. The steal. 
Fast break Toronto. Here's Caboclo. And there's the feed to Nogueda. The pass to Hendricks. And here's Vasquez. No luck. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time, no question. The kid, he's checked in for Toronto. So it's Brooklyn now. Here's Temple. Out left to the wing. McKnight, the pass to Jefferson. Six to shoot. 11 feet away, and the basket by Carasong. Tell you what, it's a huge plus to have him making shots like that. Here's the kid. There's the triple. Passes it to Kaboko. The three, and that one's good. Kaboko's got five points now this quarter. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in control of this game. Yeah, they have not let their guard down one bit in the paint. It's Jefferson outside. It's rebounded by the kid. The kid's got six rebounds now in the game. The shot from the low post is good. The kid's got nine points here in the second half. Some killer instinct he showed right there, exploding to the rim and adding to that lead. And Temple kicks to Jefferson. He dishes it to Temple. He feeds it to Hardaway. Left side, Jefferson. Six to shoot. The good-looking shot from the wing. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's the kid. And again, Toronto with the triple. Boy, what a half from the field they're having. They're going to extend that lead if they stay this high. Now oh, they've taken it up another notch, Clark, looking very confident out there. And Temple kicks to Jefferson. Pulls up on the wing. And the shot no good, a bit short. That's a shot that he sometimes struggles with, but you can't fault him for taking it when the defense backs off like that. Vasquez passes to the kid. To the wing on the left. Six to shoot. Good. The kids got 38 points. Everything's falling now, and this lead continues to increase. Yeah, it's just way too hard to keep up with a scoring pace like this. I mean, and that's why the defense is having a tough time. Hardaway kicks to Temple. Here's Karasov, guarded by Vasquez. Dishes to Temple. Here's Karasov. The rebound by the kid. An eight rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. This guy's putting on a clinic out there. Everything is sound and sharp and crisp. He's really the centerpiece of their offense. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. A free run to the hoop and some thunder on the finish. Not exactly the way the D would have drawn that one. Mm -mm. Up. And when you got the space, hey, you might as well throw it down. That's what I always used to do. <laughs> <laughs> Pass to Caboclo. Here's the kid. Three-pointer. The rebound by Karasov. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, they were uh, very lucky defensively because there was some miscommunication there. They left him wide open. So it's both teams making substitutions here. 131 left to play here in the fourth. And we head to the final buzzer in a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. This will go in the books as a really gaudy win for the Raptors.
But Steve, you know, you don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, Clark this, this kind of punishment. Well, you know what? I thought they did a nice job of playing against the game. They kept the pressure on and clearly were dominant in every area. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year. Actually, their fifth win on the year. And asserting themselves right from the start, guys. They'll be taking the front end of a four-game season series between these two clubs. They've got to feel good getting the upper hand tonight against the Nets. Well, you look back at this one, and what an amazing performance this has been for the kid. He was extremely efficient offensively, getting looks, knocking down big shots all game long. Looks like he's lost his focus a little bit, not playing well in this quarter. Kicks it to Johnson. 40 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Nogueda. Rebounded by Hardaway. Brooklyn's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Lopez sets a screen for T. Jefferson has a wide open look. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Here's the kid. Here's the three, and the miss. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline, of course. Kyle, how big a factor was the defense you Just wanted to say I really like the way you've been playing on the offensive end. Great game tonight. Hey, thanks, Coach. I really feel like I've been able to step up my game a lot lately. I know how hard you've been working. Keep it up. Just don't forget the other side of the ball, okay? Oh, don't worry, Coach. I won't forget. I got you. <laughs> 